Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Influencers UK. The gin we're trying today is Fallen Angel Blood Orange Gin. Look at that. The guys from Fallen Angel have really pulled it out of the bag with this one. I mean, it's probably the most unique bottle you've ever seen. Looks a bit like me. <laughs> so, in their range, they have vodkas and rums as well, right? They come in different colored bottles, but exactly the same style. Luckily, we've got the Magnum size, which you've got to agree is pretty impressive, along with the regular size. This actually looks really small in comparison, <laughs> but it's a decent sized bottle in itself. So this is an English gin that has been infused with a secret mix of botanicals, very secret, um, obviously including juniper, but with blood orange to create a bold citrus-led gin with a rich orange colour. Mm. So we're told. Well, we'll find out, won't we? It's got an ABV of 40.6% and we're going to be opening up the 70 centilitre bottle today. The recommended perfect serve is a, over, using a high quality tonic over ice. So we've chosen Navas today as it's our favourite. Okay. They also recommend it neat straight from the freezer, but we don't have any space in our freezer. We don't. <laughs> and I wouldn't actually want to put that in the freezer. I'd rather have it out on the shelves. Yeah, we love it. Right, so let's get it open. Let's right, go for it. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See, we prepared beforehand. We did. We had to. <laughs> Right. Shake it up a little bit. Oh! Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I only did that because a few we did, the, the pops were not that loud. So existent. I'm really looking forward to this colour. Ooh. I have been that. looking forward to this. Oh, it smells divine. There's a little bit trickling down, almost like he's bleeding. There we go, look at that. Wow. That is awesome, amazing, brilliant. Wow, that is like squeezing open that's, that's blood orange. That's like the a sweet, that is the sweetest, orangiest flavor I've ever tasted. Wow. That is like full on sugar. I can see why they say have it straight from the freezer. Mm. I can totally see that. That's awesome. Wow. That was worth so far. That was worth every penny we paid for these. But it's got it's got a nice it's got a nice kind of heat to it as mm. well. Wow! And the smell the smell is really really good. I'm I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, I, I must admit I thought it's been a bit gimmicky. I don't think it's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's amazing. It's ticked two really good boxes there. Let's get in some tonic. Right. Let's do this. <laughs> So, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that smell. That smell is wow. amazing. Ooh. That's really good. I thought it might be, because trying it neat, I thought it might be a bit sickly, but it isn't. It no. really isn't. The, the sweetness has kind of been leveled off a little bit with the tonic, with the quinine from the tonic. Yeah, it's coming through a little bit drier for me now with the tonic, that yeah. helps it. Um, yeah, it's, it's watered water down the oranginess of it. Uh, but in a good way. In a really good way, it's really nice. Even though it's a kind of shot from the freezer like they recommend, it would be brilliant, it would be really, really good. Um, you couldn't have too many of them because it'd feel sickly. This, I could drink a bowl. <laughs> I could drink that bowl, I could drink a big bowl. That's, uh, yeah, well, probably. Weird thing is, there's some there's some warmth to it as well. It's it's sweet. It's quite rich. Mm. Are you getting some spice? Do you get a cinnamon I, no, flavor? Remember, I always come in later than you, don't I? I'm getting so. a, yeah, I'm getting kind of. Even though this would be a perfect summer drink, how it is, um, for me there's there's elements behind the kind of sweet orange of kind of 
cinnamon and sli some slightly See, more complex. You're you're saying it's summery, whereas I could still have this as a winter mm. drink because it, it's it's very homely. Yeah, definitely. But I think that's because of the the cinnamon elements that, that you can kind of get. Every time you bring it up, there's just this lovely smell. Mm. Who doesn't like blood red orange? And that's the thing, there's a lot of gins out there that you kind of, when you bring it up to your nose, you don't really get much smell from it. It's, it's all about the taste. Whereas this is like bang on the senses, both. I can, I honestly can see why they say, put it in the freezer. Because mm. the, the colder it's getting, the nicer it seems to taste. Mm -hmm. And it's a great bottle as well. It's a really lovely bottle and they modeled it on me. Look. So, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And also the attention to detail. There's ridges on the back of it. It's just, it's just such a beautiful bottle. Look, it's signed at the bottom and everything. And everyone hates the devil. So yeah. yeah. He was an angel once. He was an angel once. Oh. Fallen angel. There you go. Let's get back to the gin, shall we? Mm. Right. It's it's superb. 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 That's the word we're going for today. It's superb. <laughs> so it's not just nice. It's not lovely. It's uh, superb, sorry. <laughs> it's just too easy. Like shooting fish in a barrel, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's... It's a, it's a good gin. It's a good gin. That people should have on their shelves. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, it's a beautiful bottle anyway. Um, I can understand it is a bit pricey, but you know, it's great to try it. I've tried a few orange gins in my time and I'll be honest, haven't been a great fan. You know me with kind of citrus and stuff. Citrus and chocolate can't stand. Anything like that can't stand. Um, or, you know, citrus by themselves, great. In a gin, I'm always a little bit wary. Um, it was sweet, really lovely and sweet having it neat. Yeah. Like this, we got kind of dryness to it. It's, it's a lot better than I thought it'd be. Yeah. I actually thought it was just literally gonna be, they've plowed all the money into the bottle, but I actually really like the gin as well. Yeah, really good. Let's uh, score this. Let's score it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> mm. You can hear the rustling of paper. Can you hear the rustling of paper? Right. One, two, three, go. Haha! -ha. I get a bottle. I get both. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, well done. I didn't think of that. Ten, ten. There we go. And I get both. I gave it an eight because I still like Ginny Gins. You do like Ginny Gins? Right, uh, this is great, right? It is superb, but I still, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for full on London dries, really citrusy. Like, this has got a lot of flavor and don't get me wrong, an eight, I think is a great score. Yeah, eight's, eight's a good score. It got a 10 um, and it isn't just because the bottle is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's because it was a gin that I've, I'm really enjoying. I'm actually really enjoying. With every single mouthful, I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah, I think it gets better the colder it gets. Yeah, it's sweet, it's rich, um, obviously orangey, a um, little bit of complex kind of warmth, kind of cinnamon, <clears throat> cinnamon. There is juniper, you can definitely detect juniper in it. It's a winner. Fallen Angel, amazing. I'd like you to do another gin actually. Do, do a few more gins, because yeah. this, this just smashed. Yeah. Different colour bottle maybe, maybe a uh, a green one. You can do something I, kind of... Uh, green is my favourite colour, yeah, so if you can do you a, a green one, that would be brilliant for me, and we'll definitely buy it. So we love it, I gave it a 10, so I control the bottles now, they're mine. Um, guys, please like and subscribe, make sure you ring the bell and do all the bits and pieces that you have to do. Um, obviously, we want to kind of share as many videos as we can with you. Um, Fallen Angel, love it. Yep. Oscar? Well done, guys. Um, definitely, if you get an opportunity, try this gin. It's brilliant. You, you're really going to like it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you next video. Cheers. Cheers.